Hello again. The previous video has been very popular, so I decided to record another episode. For those who haven't seen the previous episodes, I'm sharing a link to my playlist of videos related to Home Assistant. In the last episode, I showed how to connect a single device operating on the Modbus RTU protocol using the ESP Home tool and an ESP32 module. As I promised earlier, we will integrate another device into the existing system on the Modbus RTU network. This will be a weather station. I bought the Sombest weather station in 2016 for a project that worked with a PLC controller and an HMI panel. On AliExpress, we can find other weather stations that operate using the Modbus RTU protocol. Nowadays, it's definitely better to choose ready-made weather stations that work directly with Home Assistant without any additional complications. This exercise aims to expand our knowledge of how the ESP32 interacts with multiple slave devices in a Modbus RTU network, and we will focus on this in the next part of the training material. Just like we did with the module containing the ds 18 b temperature sensor, our weather station requires configuration of the communication parameters and assigning a slave ID within the Modbus RTU network. The default transmission parameters are the same as in the previous project. We will read our registers using function 3, starting from register 0 up to register 3. Register 0, Luminance, Register 1, Temperature, Register 2, Humidity, Register 3, Wind Speed. In the next step, we will proceed to configure our ESP32 module. To do this, we will use the file from the previous exercise and add the new Modbus slave device. We define a new slave device with address number 1. We start the sensor components configuration with the ds 18 b 20 temperature sensor. Next, we will read the registers from the new slave device of the weather station and convert the read values for accurate interpretation of the results. After successfully uploading our configuration, we can test it by checking the logs of our ESP32 module. We can see that the values from both slave modules are being read correctly and scaled for accurate interpretation. In the final step, we will create a new cart in our dashboard to display the readings of all values from both Modbus slave devices. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this material, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. If the videos receive a lot of interest, it will be a great motivation for me to prepare more educational materials. Thank you.